Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. They are affected by climate change, also by marine pollution and fisheries mismanagement. But penguins, they need to go on land to build a nest and take care of their chicks. So they are also exposed to threats on land, including the human disturbance and the introduction of unfamiliar predators. With the Global Penguin Society, we help penguins doing research, like finding evidence and information about how to help penguins better, protecting habitats, creating marine protected areas, and also uh, uh, developing management plans for colonies that are open to visits. I think uh, the younger generations are much more educated about the environment compared to, to my generation. I mean, when I was 10 years old, the environment was not an issue and nobody was telling us about the problems we were causing. People have a natural emotional connection with penguins. So through penguins, we can talk about many other things and implement solutions that will benefit big environments and many, many species. In the end of the day, we work to change the attitude and the behavior of people. We cannot change the behavior of animals or our environment. So when we work with people and we reach that goal, seeing that they really get involved and they develop this sense of ownership and they want to protect wildlife, that's the day when we say, okay, mission accomplished. Tell us what you're doing to preserve the health of the planet for future generations. Send us your messages on social media using the hashtag call to earth. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.